Kadrina and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be shopping for self-care and makeup dupes. Yes, you heard that right, dupes, guys. I'm gonna see which products I can find that are good dupes for the super expensive makeup and self-care products. Cause you know we wanna save our money. So before we get started, please make sure you give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe down below, share this video, hit that notification bell, and do not forget to check out my Instagram and my TikTok, both at Peachy Queen Official. And now let's head right into the store. Elf is always a good dupe. I know it's a brand in itself that's super popular, but they usually have dupes for more expensive makeup brands. For example, this Elf primer, the Power Grip primer is so popular right now but look how stocked up it is and then the nice cinnamite one there's only two left I just noticed that actually all of the primers are 10 bucks no matter which one you get but I kind of want to try this a lot of you guys say that primer is really important so maybe I should get it they also have the halo glow filter okay I made sure this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter the elf halo glow liquid filter funny because literally only the brown shades are left but I mean that's good for me if I want to get this, this is how much? 14 bucks compared to the super expensive Charlotte Tilbury one. This is in the shade 6 Tan Deep. I'm thinking it would work. What do you guys think? Is that a match? And it's the only one left. I don't know if I should get it. I think I will. Let me just get it. Why not? Which one is better? The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer or the one with niacinamide? They're the same thing, it's just one has niacinamide in it. These might be dupes for the Milk Primer that's more pricey, so... Let's see. I guess we're just gonna go with this because it seems like it has more for the same price. Oh, finally I found this, the Elf Skin Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. I think you can use this on your face or maybe just anywhere. This is 14 bucks. I was looking for this at Ulta but I couldn't find it. Mm. I don't know if you guys saw in my previous vlogs, but I did get this e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara and I feel like it would be a great dupe for the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. That one is really good and I'm trying to see if I could find a more affordable version of it. So stay tuned for a review of this. This is only six bucks and I can't put it back in. <laughs> This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. It's actually not as pricey as I remember it being. It's only $9.99. So this is a really good one, but I'm gonna test out the e.l.f. one and see if it's better, cause it's like three to four dollars cheaper. But if you wanna try this, I definitely recommend. They also have the Better Than Sex Mascara here. Ooh, these are the minis and the full size. I wish my camera would do a better job of filming, but anyway. Ooh, is this a brown one? Like a chocolatey brown? That's cute. The only other thing I'm looking for in the elf section is their wands for like highlight and blush because those are also dupes for Charlotte Tilbury but I can't find them. Where do you guys think they'd be? Or are they sold out so I can't see any of them? Dang it, they had a flawless brightening concealer on sale for $4.25. These were cheap, no wonder they're all gone. There's some foundation here. They do have hydrating concealers for seven bucks though so that's nice and they're stocked up. But of course everyone had to get those. I was gonna show you guys this CoverGirl Yummy Gloss as a dupe for like any kind of lip oils, like the Dior lip oil that are going viral right now, but look, really, be for real. There's only one left, so I might go to another store and check out if they're stocked up. There's some Maybelline lip glosses here on sale for literally $3.99, and it looks like a dupe for something, but I can't remember. If you guys know what this is a dupe for, please comment down below and let me know. Okay, let's see. They were originally $7.99, now they're $3.99, so $4 less. And they have brown ones. I want to try your brown lip gloss. Funny yeah. how the brown shades are always the ones that are on sale. Yeah, but it brown. works for us. Hmm. This, is this looks nice and shimmery. It's kind of like a bronze color. People don't get them. Yeah, I think they're the colors that are not that popular. So, there's another one. Hey, it works out for us. Which one's better? This is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. To be honest, I can get both and test them out because both of these together basically makes the price of one when it wasn't on sale. This is what I've got so far. Looks pretty good. Now I gotta look for what else I'm trying to find. All right, let's go look for the like skincare hygiene stuff. Maybelline has some concealer on sale for literally $2.99. This was a good day to come here, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know if this is my shade though, but I can't really see, they put it so high up. You guys check for me. Originally these were $9.99, now they're on sale for $2.99. Super stay active wear. I'm struggling because I don't really know if it's my shade. Like, isn't concealer supposed to be lighter than your face? 
the trick is you can buy concealer on your skin tone but if you have like dark circles you want one that is light to lighten them this will just have to do it's not a big deal because it's only 2 dollars anyway yeah, I actually do want a brow brush. Does this have a no, brush? This is this one has a brush. Okay, they're on I sale think. as well. Four forty nine. No, this one doesn't look like it has a brush on it. I picked up the two sixty deep brown, thinking it was the darkest. But look at this. Why is soft brown darker than the deep brown? The math is not adding up. That doesn't make sense. So should I get the deep brown or the soft Maybe brown? This is lighter. <laughs> yeah, I'll just stick with the deep brown. Whatever. It'll work. By the way guys, this is like the Ulta section in this Target. That's why there's so many good makeup and self-care products. This is another clearance section and the beloved body creams and scrubs are over here. Whipped body scrub, they're all on sale for $6.99. Hmm, as if I need these, but they smell nice, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see how much they're usually sold for. They're usually $9.99, but now you can get it for $6.99. Oh, and remember the pineapple body wash I was considering, and I put it back because it was too pricey for the size now? This is also $6.99. This is the mango and lime one, though. It's kind of nice. Like citrusy. We also have the body scrub for that. Mm, I don't really like the body scrub version. I wonder why everything's going on sale all of a sudden. Of course not the tree hut. Never mind, there was a scrub that was $5.99. What was this, the facial scrub? But now it's gone. There's Dr. Teal's. I've actually never scent tested these ones for you guys. The one that's on sale is gone, but I, let's see. This one is Rose. This is cute packaging, actually. That was okay. I wonder if they don't... Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil. Never mind, I don't like those as much as I thought I was going to. Would you look at that? They have Bioma here? Cool. Why is this it though? Hello? I guess people are buying it. I always say that Cetaphil is a dupe for CeraVe, but now that I look at it, the prices are not that different. For this CeraVe foaming facial cleanser, it's $13.69. And this Cetaphil one is $12.49. So it's like a little cheaper, but not a whole bunch. The smaller version of CeraVe is $12.39. The smaller version of Cetaphil is $10.99. So it's not that much of a difference. How about the cream? The CeraVe cream is $14.99. And the Cetaphil one is $14.89. So literally 10 cents cheaper. What the? Oh, what the? Curology has their products here, I didn't even know. They have pimple patches here, spot patches. It's the same price as the Stubborn Acne Neutrogena patches, but the spot patches from Neutrogena are only $8.39. Star Face is here, there's literally barely any products left. They're a little more pricey though, as you can see. Okay, I'm at Walmart now and I found the CoverGirl Yummy Glosses and you see, ooh, who put this here? They're all stocked up. $7.98 for these. So some people say it's not really a lip oil. It's actually a lip gloss. They are super popular right now. They have so many different shades. I think I might get something kind of purple. Laugh Vendor. But these are even almost sold out here. If you guys can see. So you gotta be quick. Of course, the darker colors never sell fast. I don't know why, but oh well. Like this video and comment down below if you want me to try this. Now I'm looking at Hard Candy. I was looking for their lip oil and I only found one lip repair oil. And it's a really light pink shade. Not really what I'm looking for, but it's nice to know they have them. I hope one day I can find it when it's nice and stocked up. <gasps> they have a highlighter stick? Guys, where was this when I was looking for the highlighter sticks? $7.94, even a blush stick? A blush glow stick. Really? They even have their own primers. Can these be compared to the e.l.f. one? They're definitely cheaper by like a buck and some cents. Why are they locked up like that, please? And what is this? This looks like a lip oil selfie cheek tint. Oh, never mind. Dang it, I really wanted to see some more lip oils. Anyway, I found a really good Walmart. Their makeup section is so full and so big. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like two sections to it and there's so many things. Okay, so there's the Tree Hut products over here, but what are these scrubs? Tropical Mango Watermelon Tahitian, I think, Tahitian Vanilla, Coconut Lime, Exotic Rose, and Island Coconut. These are new and they're $5.98, a little cheaper than the Tree Hut ones that are sold for $7.94. Let's scent test them. First, Tropical Mango. Mmm, okay, not bad. It's kind of perfumey. Smells nice and fruity as well. Watermelon. I always regret doing this because my hands get all sticky with the sugar. Your typical fake watermelon scent. <laughs> Tahitian vanilla, this is new. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> it's kind of like those cake batter candles that are too overwhelming. Coconut lime. I don't really know how to describe it. It's a little faint. It smells like the pool a little bit, but it's not bad at the same time. Exotic rose, not bad. The island coconut is the best one, I think. Ooh, new brand, but look how cheap these blemish patches are. $2.56, what? They put them right next to Starface, and I mean, these are just eye-catching. $3.98, I really wanna get some, but I feel like I've been spending a lot of money on self-care and hygiene recently, and you know, you gotta be careful with that. But my nose really needs this so bad. Poor patch, I need it so bad. $3.98. Hmm, should I get it guys? These are the difficult decisions you gotta make. And it's even harder for me as a content creator because this is my job to shop and it just makes me wanna buy everything. Tell me why I just found out LA Colors is sold at Walmart and they have a lip oil and face primer for so cheap. The lip oil is $1.98 and the face primer is $3.98. If these aren't considered dupes, I don't know what products are. Someone try this and let me know if it's good. Even though I know I'm probably supposed to be doing that, but I already spent my money on the e.l.f. products. It's good we went to Target because these are not on sale here. They're $8.98. Ooh, guys, I went to the clearance section and did I just find a Lanier lip mask dupe? This is $5.97 for a lip mask. You even get the little application tool. Hold on. Rideful high potency lip max. Max. <laughs> high potency lip mask to use overnight. That's cool. Sometimes Lanier feels super overpriced, so maybe try something like this first. And it says it's new. Ooh, so many other products that I just don't feel like looking through. What is this on sale for five bucks? Gel, mousse, wait, what? Cleansing foaming gel. Oh, it's a micellar facial cleanser, cool. Bioderma. All right, everyone, I am back from Target and Walmart. Let me show you guys what I got. I only got makeup products from Target because they had so many makeup products on sale, you don't even know. The only things I got that weren't on sale were the e.l.f. dupes that I got. Like I said before, this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Primers. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I guess you use this for your light makeup days when you don't want to do too much. And you're going for the no makeup makeup look. And then this Power Grip Primer is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Primer, but I feel like Charlotte Tilbury also has a primer similar to this, if I'm not mistaken. I went with the niacinamide one because why not get more for the same price as the other one? Hopefully this is my shade, guys. I think it is because this was the last one in this 16 tan deep shade next I got two lip glosses and guys I literally went to Walmart and I saw these for their regular price I'm glad we got these on sale wait a minute you know this clearance sticker says $3.99 but we actually got these for $2.39 we got this for $2.39, so it's even cheaper than the clearance sticker says. And I think these could be good dupes for maybe the Fenty lip glosses. I've been checking those out, but they are a little bit pricey. Even though I do really like Fenty products. Look at this, guys. I got two brown shades. Kind of like a bronze penny color. And the other one I have, this has more reddish pinky tones. There it is. So I'm excited to try these out. You guys know me and my lip products and lip combos. This is a lot of Maybelline products, guys. I guess they just have a big sale on Maybelline makeup. And the last two things I got are the Superstay Active Wear Concealer. And this is in 30H. There it is. And the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Lipstick. I don't know. I'm trying to get better at doing my brows, so why not try out a new product? And I believe this comes with a brush. Or at least I'm really hoping it does. Why is my shirt acting like this? And that's everything that I got makeup-wise at Target. I also got some swimsuits, so make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, both at Peach Queen Official, for some future photo shoots and content. And that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Comment down below some more self-care hygiene and makeup dupes that you want me to shop for. Subscribe down below, share this video, hit that notification bell, and do not forget to check out my Instagram and my TikTok, both at Peach Queen Official. And I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Bye.